the producers and distributors of Tech AV training material welcome you to the second module in the series entitled Programmable Logic Controllers. In this module, we shall be overviewing the fundamentals of control devices, which will lead you to a working understanding of ladder logic diagrams, which are used in PLC engineered systems. Remember that your workbook contains the relevant resource material and is an integral part of the overall learning process. Ensure that you have read the resource notes before viewing each section of the program. We begin this lesson with a brief review of automatic control systems, the topic of our discussion in Module 1 of this series. By using a simplistic example of sorting blocks according to height, we saw that input sensing, decision making, and output action represent the three basic building blocks used to describe the flow pattern of any automatic control system. Then, using a simple two-state switch as a sensing device, we were able to send a simple on-off message to the logic section of our control system to make a decision. Next, we introduced the electromechanical relay as the logic or reasoning device in our controller and using the on-off voltage signals from external input devices to energize the relay, we were able to control the flow of power in other electrical circuits of the machine. Then we replaced our relay logic controller with a programmable logic controller. And instead of relays, which must be physically wired together, we saw how the PLC uses its own internal relays timers and counters to control the system via a programming device. Finally, we explained that PLC logic works in essentially the same way as the hardwired relay logic by switching and combining on-off voltage signals to direct the flow of power to various output or field devices. Now, let's continue with Module 2. A PLC, as we have seen, is a specialized computer designed to be used in an industrial environment. It is able to combine many input and output signals to make some very complicated decisions, and it does this according to certain rules of logic. These rules are best explained using a ladder logic diagram. This is the relay logic diagram of our sorting machine, the master plan, as it were, of the control system, since it tells us how all the various control devices are wired together to create the automatic sequence of events upon which the machine relies to carry out its sorting operation successfully. Let's explain the elements of a ladder diagram step by step. Here we see two vertical lines, called the power rails of the ladder and it is generally accepted that a potential difference, or voltage gradient, exists between the rails, resulting in a natural power flow from left to right across the diagram. These horizontal lines represent the rungs of the ladder, which illustrate how the various devices are wired together. And these symbols identify the devices used to create the control circuits. There are three types of devices shown on this diagram, which correspond to the three different sections of an automatic control system. At the left-hand rail, we find the input devices which sense or gather information. Here, for example, are the upper and lower limit switches, which measure and sort the passing blocks. And over here, we see the input switches which start and stop the machine. At the opposite end of the rung, we find the logic devices and output devices, like this counter and solenoid valve. All the symbols that are used to identify these devices are standard, and to help you remember the most common types, we've listed them in your workbook. Get to know and recognize them, as you will find them used in most PLC documentation. After the break, we'll return to overview some of the common types of input, output and logic devices so that you will understand what they do and how they are used to create automatic control circuits.